Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're going to make a Starbucks Blonde Vanilla Latte using the Keurig K Cafe. So I really like this machine. I've got the uh, special edition. I've done another video on the difference between the special edition and the, and the standard. They call it a charcoal one. But um, today we're going to do just a vanilla latte. Now, we, we're going to use a K-cup for our shot. And you can use coffee k-cups to get a they call it a coffee shot but it's more like an espresso shot it's not a true espresso shot but we're going to use coffee k-cups for our espresso shot but check out my other video because with these reusable k-cups i have done espresso shots using espresso grounds and make sure you use a filter but i've got another video on how to do espresso shots with this machine but today we're just going to concentrate on coffee k-cups so there's several different kinds, um, and all of them you can use for an espresso or a coffee shot or an espresso shot. Um, you can even use the Starbucks. Uh, this is their blonde, their vanilla blonde K-cup. But you can even do a, a Pete's Coffee I've used, um, a donut shop, and this, this Starbucks one here is uh, twice the caffeine. So the reason we can use these K -cup, these coffee K-cups, so when our machine does a shot, um, it only is two ounces. So you're just going to be running two ounces of water through these K-cups, which gives you a really strong uh, shot of coffee. But it is only two ounces. Now Starbucks, when you do two shots at Starbucks, each shot's an ounce and a half. So we're going to be missing a little bit of the shot. But this machine doesn't quite do a tall. So at Starbucks, their drinks are, you know, the tall is the small, which is 12 ounces. That's about all this machine can do. You would have to double everything up and just do a whole nother brew process to double it. But so we're only going to be able to do the small, almost 12 ounces at, uh, on this machine. And again, one of the major differences is Starbucks serves their drinks pretty piping hot around 150, 160. The most, so everything, this thing kind of brews everything around 150, but by the time you mix it all together, you're about 130, 135. It tastes really good. It just, it doesn't stay hot super long. So we've got the espresso or the coffee shot. You can get all these K-cups at Walmart, but we're going to need this vanilla. Now I got this off of Amazon. Walmart does sell this vanilla. It's a French vanilla syrup. I think they have a, just a standard vanilla syrup. But this one works fine too. It's kind of a really runny syrup. And I use 2% milk. So for, for my shot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this breakfast blend. Okay, so the Keurig K-Cafe, I really like this machine. Let's just go over the machine real quick. Over here, you've got your, this is your frother. And it's got two lines, cappuccino and a latte. We're gonna, do, we're gonna fill it up to the latte. That only gives us about, you're going to put six ounces of milk in, but it does froth it up. So you end up with about eight, not quite 10 ounces of milk. But we're going to do, we're going to press the latte button. We're going to first put our cake up in. So we're going to do a latte. We're pressing the latte button. Then the, the strong light is lit and the shot light is lit. These aren't buttons when you're in the latte side. So the only thing we're left to do is we're going to press the K button when we're ready to brew our shot. And then we can, we're going to put our milk in. Okay, so I'm going to fill it up to the latte line. So this is a really simple drink to make. We're going to press the K button now, and that's going to brew our espresso shot. Again, that's about two ounces. Then I can hit the latte button, and that's going to froth. That takes about a minute, about a minute and a half. It's going to froth that milk up to 150 degrees. You you sort you see about 150 155, and this espresso shot's about 145 to 150. Okay, so our espresso shot's done. 
and we're just going to wait on the the milk to finish so you can add so I'm going to add three tablespoons now for Starbucks for their small uh, they put four tablespoons but it's almost too sweet for me and plus I don't think our shots quite as uh, strong as theirs so I'm just gonna put three tablespoons in and it's it tastes really good again we can see yeah see the shot starts to cool off pretty quick 136 we're already down a little bit This thing does a really good job frothing it. It unfortunately just doesn't froth a lot of milk. I have put up to 8 ounces in there and it does an okay job. It doesn't quite get it up to 150. Okay, so beep at us, let us know it's done. Okay, that's some really good froth. Let's just check the temperature real quick. Yeah, see about 150. So you can either put your syrup in now or we'll dump this in. And it, it can take the whole everything. See, this is about a 14 ounce cup. So you get about 12 ounces maybe. So now we're gonna add our vanilla. Like I said, I do three shots or three uh, tablespoons. Now this is a, a stirred drink, so we do have to stir in that syrup. And you can experiment with, with topping your um, your froth with different things. I'm not gonna top it because I don't think Starbucks does or anybody, but um, we're just sprinkling little toppings on there. Just kind of adds a little extra flavor to things. And again, once this drink is stirred and ready to go, yeah, 126. Now it's it's hot, you know, it's hot. Is it gonna burn you? Yeah, probably not, but let me take a drink. That's a that's a really good drink. There's no um there's none of that bitter coffee taste. Um and it just it tastes really smooth and really good. So in about three minutes, um you can have yourself a vanilla latte with um different kinds of K-cups and experiment around with a coffee K-cup. Remember, it's just going to run two ounces of water through there. So it's going to be a really um, strong coffee shot of whatever you use. But don't be afraid to, to play around with different coffee pods. I've even used um, just an old generic coffee K-cup from Walmart. And, you know, they, they turn out okay too. Okay, so just for curiosity, I did the math on how much this drink cost me at home. So I was surprised, but the vanilla is the most expensive part of this drink so a k cup is 50 cents typically you know depending on what you get uh, they can be 60 cents up where some of the cheaper ones are 40 cents the milk was 85 cents because i can get a 64 fluid ounces for a buck 50 so that's 14 cents an ounce so the vanilla unfortunately the vanilla was a dollar 50. It's this is 50 cents a tablespoon if you get this off of Starbucks or off of um, Amazon because it's five bucks. So for a grand total of two dollars and eighty five cents, that's still really good compared to Amazon or compared to uh, Starbucks. Now, again, this is just they're small and you do. And I haven't taken into consider the cost of the machine. You know, the machine costs anywhere from ninety nine dollars to about one hundred and sixty, one hundred and seventy. But I think we're going to be able to get some good use out of this machine. So I just wanted to go over. I was really curious about the cost. So $2.85 to make this drink at home. So again, everyone, I want to thank everybody for watching. I'm going to be doing uh, quite a few videos on this Keurig K-Cafe. I really like it. It's only downfall is it just doesn't produce a very big drink. But you can even play around with this. So say you, so you added two ounces of coffee 
or a shot espresso shot you could just open this up um, put another K cup in and add another shot so if you ever needed some more caffeine in the morning or something for on a special day you're doing a lot um, you can see that you'd be up to maybe about 12 ounces if you added another espresso shot and then you might add another tablespoon but I would just try it with three tablespoons and see how it tastes so again I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos on this curry K, K cafe if you could uh, leave your comments down below of any drinks you want me to make um, I'm, I look at my comments on a daily basis if you got any questions on where I bought the ingredients or if you want me to try a special K cup or or anything but again check out my video on espresso shots with uh, reusable this reusable K cup I did I ground my own beans and checked it and everything but there are some things you need to look out for mainly use a filter that they make paper filters with this so again I hope you liked the video and if you could please like and subscribe and thank you for watching